welcome back to the season finale of season four of the show. That doesn't mean we're ending completely. We do have a season five coming up that we're working on very hard. You just watched um, our day in the lives of, but before we go into that and tell you a bit more about that, I just want to let you all know that we are currently at Paloma on the Spintex Road. Beautiful place. You have to come here and check it out. And the food is delicious and the hotel rooms are just on another level. Yes. And also we were styled by House of Kramer. I hope you love the outfits we're wearing by AKE and our jewelry is by Tebazil. Now so. as Crystal was saying before, you have watched a day in the life of us and it's been so interesting. Krista, how did you feel putting your life out there like that? Very shy about <laughs> it. Because usually we're the ones that get to do the interviews. Mm -hmm. But now, it now it's in a day. Spot. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I hope that it really inspired mm -hmm. you guys out there that you see that it's not all glitz and glamour all the time. It's I mean, it's a lot work. of hard work. Mm -hmm. Waking up at 8 a.m. every day, working on my own business, um, doing Be Bold, going out, doing interviews, and then eventually going on the news to read the news to you guys out there and then coming home at like 9 30 and then I have a life too so imagine all that squeezing it's hard all work about time planning yeah what about you how do you feel about I it I mean it's interesting to see you know how you try to make two jobs work at the same time so I'm hoping that my boss is not watching this because he'll be like oh so this <laughs> is what she does all day but my job does allow me to be more flexible so I can you know manage manage yeah but you know what I'm really nervous about right now <laughs> Is yeah. our fans here asking us questions? We're always the ones asking questions, but they've been looking like I'm gonna ask you some serious, serious questions, questions today, and they wanna surprise us. So this is your time. Please ready, ask us I'm anything. Ready, Let's go. We'll start with you. I want to know if you both are Ghanaians. Ah, that's a good question. That is a good question. Shall we answer already? Yeah, you go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, yes, I'm Ghanaian. I was born here, bred here, everything. Um, but I'm half Ghanaian, half Swiss. But since I was born here and I've lived here all my life, I mean, I speak all my local languages and I've never lived in Switzerland, so I don't really know that side of my life. So yes, I don't even like to say I'm Swiss. I'm fully Ghanaian at heart, at blood, everything. I just sometimes don't look like, but today, I hope I look a little more Ghanaian than usual. <laughs> And for me, I am not Ghanaian. I am half South African and half Dutch, but I have lived all over Africa. Uh, my mother used to be a diplomat, so we lived in Tanzania, I've lived in Zambia, I lived in Ghana. This is where Crystal and I met, and so that's where our, you know, journey began. Yeah. tree. Come with me, I met it. <laughs> what question do you have? I see people are always busy. Do you people sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Do we sleep? Yes, we sleep. On the weekends. On the weekends. Yeah. Our, our motto used to be sleep when you die, you know? You need yeah. to keep working, working, working to manage everything. Get things everything. right. I think, I think right now for, for me especially, yes, I love to sleep, but I also want to get a lot and I feel like this is my prime and just sometimes you just need to work really hard to get the things you need to get done in a day. So yes, you need to try and get your eight hours, but whenever you can sneak a little less time, you should try so that you can get things done. But yeah, I like to sleep and I eat well and everything, yeah. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to congratulate you ladies for the hard work being done throughout the seasons. Thank you. And Crystal, I just want to clear the doubt if you are truly Ghanaian. So can you just say this in three for me, compare and contrast to clear all the doubts? Whoa, that is deep. <laughs> compare and contrast. Oh, what do you mean to me? <laughs> it's too deep. Compare and contrast. No. Okay, Let's wait. Let's carry on to the fifth season and answer it for our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a challenge for season five. The first episode, you will be answering that question. Of what the tree translation of compare and yeah. contrast. Uh -huh. No, I've never said it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's deep. Yeah, okay, that's deep. okay, that's a good one. All right, other questions, guys. Okay, I also want to know some of the challenges you've been facing since you started the show and if you are still facing any challenges at yeah. this moment. Yeah. Challenges. Wow. So many, so many. I think for me, the biggest challenge is seeing a lot of um, 
people that I know can can afford to invest in young entrepreneurs like ourselves like all the people that have been on the show and going to them for sponsorship and them telling turning you down there's so many and because I think it's also because of our culture even now when we're trying to get um, people to donate for sickle cell trying to get people to sponsor the show and so forth there's a lot of trust issues there's a lot of um, just not wanting to give money but at the same time say oh yes entrepreneurs you know we support you or you're doing great but we need the support in that area so that's been one of the biggest challenge for be bold is getting sponsorship um, just freely because we are doing something and I think we have a lot to show for it and a lot of people can attest to it but people are very tight-fisted and I think another big challenge that we had that we have overcome was um, resources, human resources. We had such a small team, it was Crystal and I, and we had to do everything, and we realized that if we didn't expand our team, we couldn't do much. And so we have found the most amazing team. We have such a great group of people. I love working with them, they're so much fun. And I think that's how you know we've gotten interns, we've gotten people who are just really willing to help us out, and we also had to try and find people that could work with us so that we have human resources and we can get it done, we can but get stuff done. But the are endless. Yep. I mean, there, sometimes there's like mountains in front of you and you just need to climb that mountain or just go through that hurdle. But that's what life is about. And so that's what we've really been doing. Yeah. yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Does it answer your question? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Other questions? Um, I just want to know whether there's ever going to be a guy on the set to interview people oh. because it seems you ladies are taking over <laughs> everything and do you people do fights at times and who wins normally? Fight like physically? Either or, or way. Or argument. argument. Yeah, argument either way. Uh. <laughs> Two questions. Okay, first question, whether we are ever going to have a guy on the show. Perhaps in the future, we'll see. Yeah, I think yes we could but right now we even have a roving reporters like a lot of the interns most of the time ask questions like Mabanga sometimes he comes on the show and he does different things yep. so we need to groom somebody to get to the level where they're actually sitting on the set with us but right now it looks like the women are just <laughs> we're taking over you know we're, we're ready for this Who we want to like really girls? stand up tall and, and be wise and be bold oh yes <laughs> definitely and the, last and the second one, question, do we argue fine. a lot? Yes. Well, I will say there is a video in this world where Crystal and I were fighting physically. Yes. And I still say I won. No, but it I looks on, on the video it looks like she won. No. Okay. I was face. trying to, you know? Yeah, so we fight, yeah, we fight. But, but not, we fight not. like we fight like sisters, like you know, yeah. family fights. But then amongst the team, I think, we have very good arguments and yep. discussions. In fact, when we are um, choosing which guests to come on, because we get a lot of um, guests who want to be part of the show all the time, and then we also get our intent to each tell us who they should get on the show. So we have a list of like 90 to 100 guests at the end, and we can only have about 30. So we have very constructive arguments and people have to defend their guests. Yeah. So in some instances I know Victor would come and he thinks that his guest should be on. The best. And let's say, you know, uh, Kweku, uh, our camera guy would say, no, this guest is not good. We're not going to use him. Why? It's not exciting. It's not, you know, so there'll be a back and forth within ourselves and then eventually we have to all vote. And I will say arguing is actually quite constructive because it allows everybody to voice their opinions and if you're good at arguing, you also need to listen to what other people are saying so that you can take that in your final decision. So we, yes, we argue, <laughs> and we love it, and we get stuff done. And the last question. Ooh. Um, you said you actually really fight over who has to be on the show and all. And sitting here, I hope next season I'll get a chance to bring my artist oh. to showcase people. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say shouts to Ramila. That's his name. He's doing a good job. Kobla. He's doing a good job. So. Okay, well, well who knows? Kobla, Ryan Miller. Is that yeah, it? Ryan yes, Miller. You've heard from your manager, your best spokesperson right here. He's like hyping you up already. <laughs> and definitely you're sitting here with us. So you, you're already part of the Revolt family. 
So I'm okay. sure so who knows? We'll, you can just call, give us a call and be like, first of all, I need that. <laughs> also, right now. It will be done. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, did we answer your questions? Are you satisfied? Yeah. Yeah? Well, that is the end of our discussion. And because you guys are such loyal fans, we actually have a few gifts for you. Um, they're here on the table. First of all, we would like to give you a local t-shirt. She was in season three. Chale Y. Chale Y. This is her, her brand. So you are all going to get one of those. Congratulations. Congratulations and thank you so much for yeah. being a great fan. Definitely. And then the next thing we have here is the HTWB. I have and one too. Yes, you have one. And the meaning behind these beads is what we, I love absolutely. The black beads are for hard work and the gold is for your reward. And so I think this is one, one of the things that Revolt also stands for mm -hmm. is being really working hard and definitely there is a reward at the end of it. And for all of you, we want you to wear this, take this with you and always remember that whatever dreams, whatever goals you have, you just need to work hard. Be strategic because I do believe that people can work really hard and still not get to where they want to get to. So, you know, read up, find out how are other people making it and how can you make it. Because honestly, if you read up a lot of these things, they also tell you mistakes they've made along the way and so yep. forth so you can learn from it. But let me not talk too much. <laughs> let me give you your prizes. We've done a lot to be here today, so no need to school you on all of that. Or yeah. you get too, you know, too. <laughs> now, lastly, we have Mutombo the Poet CDs, and these CDs are going to be very interesting. We're going to let you listen to them later. He's going to be on season five, so we're not going to give too much away about this poet, but definitely stay with us for season but five. But you get one too. Oh, yeah, right? you get one for now. <laughs> there you go. And that's, that's it. And, oh. Oh, the drum roll. now drum we roll. have the biggest fan with us here today. And the biggest fan means that he liked Facebook a lot. Okay, I gave it away. It's a he, but there's still two, <laughs> so I don't know. He liked Facebook a lot, went with us on YouTube, on Twitter. He was everywhere all the time, constantly focusing on Baby Bold and what we were doing. Now he is going to win something special. And what is it? Drum roll, please. The painting. <laughs> the Bold painting that was made when we were doing the lip dub. Congratulations. Congratulations, Natalie. How do you feel? Um, great. <laughs> great? <laughs> so you can hang this somewhere and always remember um, and keep liking. That doesn't mean you should stop. Keep liking because who knows what the next gift is going to be in season five. Going to, maybe you'll be rolling out of here in a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? But before we're done, guys. We are here at the Phenomenal Hotel and Spintex and they are giving away a dinner for two to the best fan here today. And we have come up with three very difficult questions and we're all going to allow you guys to do it give us an answer and whoever has the most answers right will win this dinner for two. So what's the first question? Yeah? Yes. The first question is, name a guest from season me. And answer, I'll pass. Yeah. Okay. Sakwadi. Okay. Trigmatic. <laughs> okay. Everybody got it wrong. <laughs> Trigmatic was a different time. Yours was a different So it wasn't just name guests. We have had two of these guests. You were totally off. But okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sakodia is yet to come on the show. His manager was on the show, yeah, but he hasn't been on the show yet. Next question is, this might be easier, but the point is to make it hard, but who interviewed the day in the life? Which one of us two did the interview for the day in the life of a dentist? I'll and go with them. You go with them? And you were wrong. both wrong. <laughs> Sarah. It was Sarah and did. And I got to team Abanda's teeth, which was so much fun. Yes. His teeth are white. Check them assistant. out. She yeah. did a fantastic job. <laughs> Crystal, do you think they were watching the show? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 
Well, I'm gonna ask them another question. Okay. Okay, the final question, I'm gonna leave Sarah asking. Ooh, last, last, last question, guys. Who can sing us the Be Bold theme song? If you can sing it, raise your hand. It's a bingo. Raise your hand and who wins it. Aha. Stand up so and be wise and be We stand up tall and we wise and be bold. Congratulations. Dinner for two. At Paloma Hotel on the Spintex Road. Enjoy it. Bring your Who are you going to bring? My brother. Oh, your brother. We That's great. Yeah, we should. Definitely. Yeah. So Ruby won the final. She's really been watching, especially season four. Um, I mean, the other All of you guys really have. Season too. four was good. Yeah. Yeah, season four has been pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. Well, thank right. you guys so much for being here today. Thank keep you. watching, keep liking, keep following us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Just stay with us and, you know, see how we can help you guys out. All right, let's throw through another break. <laughs>